welcome back to my channel um, I am wearing the beautiful sleek and straight wig by Tressler I just did a full review on this here style and now we are going to talk about this new tool by Tressler it's called cool flow um, this looks like a really nifty um, amazing dual styler uh, I'm really excited to check it out I have not really done anything with it so you guys get to come along with me while uh you know experimenting with it for the first time and we're going to be doing it on this here sleek and straight wig by tressler and for your reference the color on this here sleek and straight wig is 1426 r10 we talked about the color and the style on um the previous video which is a full review of this style and shade so you'll have to check that out but without further ado i am going to take this here wig off put on uh, uh, just a cap over my buzzed head. So that's what I'll do right now and um, kind of add some curl or wave or whatever I can do as I experiment with this here styling tool. So uh, before I do that, um, uh, let's talk about the styling tool. This is what it comes in. It comes in this nice, sturdy, durable box. Um, it has your specifications on the back um this is the first dual purpose styling iron that curls or straightens human hair heat friendly friendly wigs or extensions so that's what it means by dual styler um it's distributed by tressler um and you have a one-year manufacturer warranty now the specifications on this cool flow is you have a voltage of 100 to 240 vac blah 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 <laughs> uh, the frequency is 50 60 hc power 45 watts plate dimension is three and a half inches by one inches the barrel dimension is four and one eighth inches by one and one sixth inches i'm not sure if this is all very important to you guys but just so you you know have this information there you have it the auto off is 60 minutes that's really nice so after 60 minutes it will turn off on its own uh, for those who might forget that they have something on, uh, that's nice that it will turn off. Okay. Anyway, make your wigs and extensions come alive. I love that because you have the availability to use it on various fibers, meaning you have your heat friendly wigs and extensions and toppers, uh, but you can use it. It has a high enough temperature setting that you can use it on your human hair as well. So I do, I really do love that. The the thing with with a lot of um, styling tools is they don't go low enough that you cannot use it on your heat friendly fibers. It's it's kind of scary. You do want to keep it low enough. Another amazing thing about this this styling iron is that oftentimes when you want to cool your your curl um you have to let it sit or cool with this you don't have to because it has a built-in fan it's amazing so um the hair curler and flat iron all in one it has an all in one it's awesome uh you just with one glide no more need to hold your curls and wait for your hair to cool down it has an air cooling system um, it has this unique air curling technology it sets the curl immediately after it's formed um, you can sleek and shine your wigs and your pieces. Uh, premium tourmaline, tourmaline ceramic plates and barrels for a smooth, healthier result. Um, you have five heat settings, a variety of heat settings from 280 to 430 degrees Fahrenheit for all hair types. Um, you have high heat. Um, it only takes 30 seconds to heat up. You get ready for styling hair or straightening hair in one pass. So you can curl, you can flat iron. Um, it just sounds to me like all in one because you can do it all with this here tool. I'm going to put this here sleek and straight wig on a wig stand and we'll get moving. See how this works on this heat friendly synthetic fiber. Okay, so I just put sleek and straight on my block head. I am going to pin this here wig down now, one tip is um, that has nothing to do with the styling tool is I like to use my T-pins in um, like the, the ear tabs and um, also along the nape 
and areas that don't have delicate base materials. The nice thing about um, sleek and straight is that most of it is machine wefted aside from that mono crown. But um, in cases where you have a lace front, a monofilament top, you don't want to puncture those T-pins in those delicate base materials because over time you can um, uh, damage those materials and they could tear and um, just um, shorten the lifespan of your investments. So that there is a tip that I like to make sure to always be mindful of. So anyway, um, another thing with this styling tool and with any tool for that, that matter is the smaller the section, the more heat um, is going to, you know, penetrate into those fibers, whether that's human hair or synthetic. So um, if you part your, your fibers into sections, um, it will, the curl result will depend on how, how small your section is. So essentially the smaller the section, the tighter the curl. Now I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but um, there's an, it says, it shows off right there. Okay. It's beeping off. To turn it on, you push the button. I'm pretty sure, Okay. Let's see. Hold it down. Now it's on. Can you guys see that? I'm not even sure if you can. It's very light because I have my ring light on. Now you can continue to push that button right here until you get to your desired um, temperature. All right, you guys. So on your synthetic heat friendly wigs, you can apply heat up to, but not over 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm at 360, let's see, 350. Let's find 350. I'm just pushing this button right here until I get to 350. And the fan will automatically come on um, when you get to that temperature. You can turn off the fan by pushing the fan button. See that? Once you straighten or curl your heat-friendly synthetic wig, the fiber will remain that way until you apply heat once again. For a loose curl, use Cool Flow Dual Styler at 320 on dry hair without a fan. For a stronger, tighter curl, use Cool Flow Dual Styler at 350 on damp hair while using the cooling fan. Curl will last up to six days. All right. So I guess since my uh, wig is not damp, we're going to go for the looser curl. Uh, we're going to go for 320 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm at 360, so I'm going to go down to 320. There we go. For straightening, just for your reference, since I'm not straightening, holding the appliance parallel to the floor, press and hold the button nearest the barrel to open the plates. It's right here. These are the plates. Take a section of the hair and place it between the plates, roughly two inches from the roots. So this is what you would do. Two, about two inches from the roots and go down. Can you guys see that? Not the best angle. The breeze function can be turned off when just straightening the hair. So if you're just straightening, you don't necessarily need the cool because um, when you're doing a curl pattern, the cooling option, when they say to like cool your curl, what that does is that helps set your curl. And by having this, um, this, function, you know, that's built into this tool with a fan, um, you don't have to do that. You don't have to set it. You don't have to pin it. You don't have to wait. If you have delicate, fine bleached or colored hair, use the lower heat setting. So this is for human hair options. Okay. Um, it is suggested to always, uh, complete a test on initial use to ensure correct temperature. So just be mindful of that when you're using human hair. If you have really damaged, fragile hair and you're at your highest setting, I mean, this is with any tool. Have you guys seen those YouTube videos where people will just fry their hair off? Be smart, guys. Be smart with your heat tools. The breeze outlet function will automatically activate once the selected temperature setting has been reached. 
Um, the, appli the appliance produces a fan noise when the fan function is turned on. Can you guys hear that? Let's do it again. See that? If the appliance is switched on for more than 60 minutes continuously, then it will automatically switch off. To continue using the appliance after this time, simply press and hold the on button for one to two seconds to turn the power back on. I'm gonna turn this off because it's loud. Um, care and maintenance, uh, do not wrap the power cord around the appliance, instead coil it, uh, coil the power cord loosely by the side, do not use the appliance at a, um, at a stretch from the power, always put the silicone protective case back to the breeze outlet, always unplug after use. Those are just common things. Anyway, you guys, I'm sorry I had to just read some of those things. I just felt like it was necessary that some of those things got um, cleared out. And plus, I needed to read it for myself since this is a new endeavor for me as I'm doing it with you. So here we go. Um, I'm going to turn on the fan because we are curling and I want to utilize that feature as I curl. We're going for the loose curl. Actually, I'm gonna curl away. Oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> I pulled that away. Look how, that is amazing. Can you guys see that? Wow, okay, but I don't wanna go that way. I wanna go away from the face, right? I'm like getting, confusing myself. Yeah, that's what I wanna do. That was cool. I was on there for like two seconds. Did you see how that curled? And then, okay, I didn't like the end. Oh, I just like straighten that. Okay, that was cool. Okay, that curled way better, just like spinning it. Okay, I'm just gonna curl. I'm just gonna curl it and then we'll figure out the rest later. All right, you guys, curls straight. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? It's nice and cooled. I'll probably run my fingers through it, add some product possibly, but that is so fun. It works really well. I am impressed. I'm impressed. Um, 
Can this be done while it's on your head? Yeah. Um, I remember when I was a little kid, I used to be like, I used to, I've always loved doing hair. And so I remember when I was, well, when I was a little kid, I used to play on Barbie hair. But then when I was in beauty school, um, in high school, I remember working on the mannequin heads and being like, oh, wouldn't it be so nice if we could, you know, take off our head, work on our hair, do our own hair, and then, you know, put it back on. And now, little did I know, years later, I would have the ability to do that with my, with my hair, style it, and then put it back on. <laughs> anyway, um, so it's kind of nice to be able to do that. Take it off, put it on a block head, style it, and put it back on. But if you do like to have the, the ability to, you know, put your, have your wig on and style it while it's on your head, um, I see no reason why you wouldn't be able to do that. It's kind of preference. Um, at the temperature of, what was it, 200 and 320 maybe? It was, it wasn't, oh, 320. I mean, it, I can touch it. I mean, it's not like I'm going to sit there and hold it with my hand, but slightly touching it. Do I recommend doing that? No. Use the end where it's plasticky to hold it. Um, but I might finish up this hairstyle, add curl to the rest of it, um, and see what, what it looks like. But what do you guys think? I'm impressed. I'm impressed too that immediately after, if I, if I get a curl wrong or if there's like a weird kink, I can go through and um, kind of straighten it and it easily does that. Um, smooths the fibers nicely, does the job. Um, I'm just quite impressed with this here tool. So it will be fun to see what it does and how it how it works on human hair. Let me know what you guys think. Um, this is a fun little tool. So I'm going to work on the rest of this here style, but I did want to show you guys um, the difference between the sleek and straight the way it comes and the added curl that I created using their new tool, um, the Cool Flow. Cool Flow because it has that built-in feature with the, um, the fan, the fan, so you don't have to let those curls, you know, cool. It does it at the same time while you are working, while you are curling, and I think that's quite nifty. So anyway, you guys, let me know what you think. You can find Cool Flow at many uh, brick and mortar and online locations where Tress Allure styles, wigs, and products are sold. I will have links down below. Um, go follow Tress Allure on their social media platforms. I wanna thank Tress Allure for the opportunity to try out this amazing tool and share with you guys. Um, Anyway, if this was helpful, give me a like and subscribe. Thank you for stopping by. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.